hot minute since we've seen each other. Ha ha ha. Like this basically in passing lately, it seems like. Okay, so we're doing. She can get it out the holder. Out the holder. Universal Yums box! Yay! Universal Yums! I'm excited. This one is from Turkey! And apparently this one's a spicy, spicy box, which means it goes on my channel. Because I like the spicy. I like sweet stuff too, don't get me wrong, but I like the spicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's such a dweeb. Uh, we had to do a bit of change of scenery because my craft room is a hot freaking mess. So you get to see my nice wall of con badges. And then her collection's much more extensive than mine. This, 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 this way. This way. There we go. That one. That there's my Tom Hiddleston autograph. <laughs> it's my I got that at NYCC twenty thirteen. Back before he was like huge. Mm -hmm. I think I only paid like eighty bucks for it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's get to the, the young package. Darky. This from Turkey this month. We actually have three of them to do, so there's going to be a couple up on my channel. Mm -hmm. I haven't quite how we're going to separate yeah. this all yet, but whatever. Yeah. I was thinking we could live stream one and then probably. put one on your channel. Yeah, probably. Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay. Right. Pick one. So. I was like, I want to end with something sweet for her sake. <laughs> To be fair, I call it Ooh. I'm getting distracted by the shiny things. Yeah, shiny also, else. we're we're testing out my new tripod that I got for Christmas. So it's built specifically for our phones, which is nice. Let's see. This is this stuff. Pronounce it. Tear Tickly Crafter. Okay. Crispy. Ooh. So the Baharati Ochre Crispy Cracker. Let's see. Baharati means spicy, but the problem is spicy in Turkish doesn't quite mean the same thing as it does here in the U.S. Yeah, sometimes spicy over there just means it has spices. It's full of it. spices and flavor. Yep. It's supposed to have onion, parsley, garlic, and thyme. That sounds actually delightful. That actually doesn't sound too bad. It smells like sauce. Yeah, it does smell like sauce. Okay. Oh. Look like. Okay, so please. Hold on. <laughs> Pull, please. Sorry. I'm sweating here. Yeah. It gets really warm in my room really fast. Same with my room. Like, my dad could have the thermostat set to something reasonable, like 68 yeah. degrees. He'll be over 80 in my bedroom. Well, I also have my fridge, and there's two people in a really small space. That's true. So, so muscle tough. Mm -hmm. Oh. You never tasted any. But it tastes like sauce. Yeah. It tastes like a stronger, like, sour cream and onion chip. That's not bad, but it's not. I like it. Go ahead. You can go ahead and put that right in your purse, because you already know. <laughs> <laughs> the purse is a little bit too far away. That's good. Sesame Stacks. Ooh. This. It says, Simit, the early bird sellers of Simit, a hot sesame crusted bread served for breakfast. It's like a bagel, but rounder and thinner than what you would find in the U.S. It doesn't come in a full lineup of flavors, it just has one sesame. And these sticks are inspired by that. Yes, I took my gluten pills. Good. I have some... She's not allowed in my car or in my room if she hasn't taken her gluten pills. It'll just help me digest it or else it's... She turns into a gas chamber. And it feels like Edward Scissorhands has been manhandling my intestines, too. So. Okay, so they almost look like pretzel pocky sticks. This is actually a really good description. <laughs> they really do, like, here. Oh, oh, where's the camera? There it is. 
Where's it going? Good. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Needs a dip. I know. It's like, this is kind of bland. I'm like, eh. I mean, it's not bad, but it needs, it needs, like, ranch or something. Yeah. Um, my Aunt Sherry, she makes a spinach dip. Like, you know, like, the spinach dip that mm -hmm. goes in the rye bread? Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. Go ahead. this is a croissant. Ooh. Thyme, basil, and olive oil. Olive oily, not just olive oil. Olive oily. Oily. Oily in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's a weird way to put it. Yeah, I know. So, oh. oh, it says some questions like. <laughs> croissant in a turkey box? Really? We know what you're thinking. Let's save croissants for when we visit France again. But here's a fact that will blow your mind. Without turkey, croissants never would have existed. In 18, sorry, 1683, the Austrian city of Vienna was under attack by the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman army planned their late-night invasion into the city through underground tunnels. Only the, ba the bakers in the city, who were up before everyone else, could hear them. And they alerted the Austrian army who fought off the attack. The... Bakers didn't want any reward, but in the days that followed, they baked bread in the shape of crescents, the symbol of the Turkish flag, still to this day, to celebrate the narrow victory. Interesting. <laughs> the cool, I, I was going to say, okay. the cool thing I like about these, they actually give you a little history bit yeah, about Yeah, I snacks. love that. Like, I love learning random things, but, like, the, the fact that croissants are uh, basically, a, you know, up yours to turkey for losing their little invasion, it's kind of fun. Yeah, that is different. Like, they're, they're delicious. They're delicious, and I know, I was like, don't get me wrong, but like, it's the fact that that's why they exist. It's kind of funny. Isn't it quite this light? It looks like a turd. Kind of does. A little peek. Just because I have a chicken pill doesn't make me go crazy. Okay, a little peek. I don't know if we should have smelled them. I feel like I need a sauce with this. Again, it needs a sauce. Well, I mean like sauce is in like... Yeah, I know what you mean. Tomato sauce. Okay. I'm not sure. Like specifically. Sauce. Pasta sauce. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, to be fair, so far I haven't really wanted to spit anything out yet, so that's good. <laughs> this looks like a pizza. Oh, mean, mean, key, whatever. Where's the page that has this on it? What's oh, on the first page? So, this little cookie is perfectly decorated for your Thanksgiving table, but beneath the layer of brightly colored sprinkles is a special tangerine jelly. Hmm. And and a flaky, buttery crust. I like. So. This will be interesting. Mm -hmm. I keep catching like the glare off of my new eyeshadow palette out of the corner of my eye. Yeah. New makeup at Christmas time is always a fun thing. This little 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 blurb bit. This is thanks to my secret Santa. Is pretty. This is what the beautiful thing looks like. It looks like a little mini pie. Yeah. <laughs> Want to split the piece in half? Like yes. Yeah, quarter it. Quarter it. We don't know if we're gonna like it. Yeah. I mean, I like orange. I don't like sprinkles. Ooh. I would like it better without the sprinkles, I think. No, see, I don't even taste sprinkles. It's a texture thing for me a little bit, too. Mm. Fair enough. It's not bad, though. It's not. The cookie almost tastes like a Fig Newton. Yeah. I see that. Also reminds me of Pop Farts. <laughs> or Pop Tarts. It's an American thing. Okay, so. That's that one right there. That one right there. Torku Coco Helva. More ses sesame based sweet. They like sesame over there a lot. No, Apparently. It's really popular cool. throughout the Middle East. If you were to. With us for an Israel box in March, you've had it before. Hmm. Which we weren't. I've only had this no. for like six months. No, 
seven months. I don't know. It's prepared by boiling sugar and sesame paste to form a fudgy crumbly candy. <clears throat> There's no fun way to explain it. Apparently it's traditionally eaten during funerals. <laughs> I don't know if I want to eat this now. <laughs> it just... I'm opening it just because yeah. I, I'm impatient. It provides a bit of solace. It's like a comfort food type thing. Mm. Hmm, that's interesting. Huh. It smells like chocolate. Yeah, it does say there's fudgy. It's like, it smells like peanut butter chocolate, though. Yeah. Oh. It's very crumbly. Apparently. Wait, little tiny pieces here, because... Yeah, latte. Not the top. The texture is very, like, very crumbly. Like, I could guess that from how it broke apart, but... It's okay. It's okay. But... I don't like it. It would be fine if the sesame wasn't there. The sesame is what kills it for me. Yeah. It's just a little, a little weird. I like my frozen water. Next is this Maninki Milk Cream Chocolate Bar. It's a cute little package. Oh, Look, it's so cute. Look at the little tiny cow. Why is it cool? Mm -mm, where's your camera? Right Over there. Here. Little tiny cow. That's so cool. Why? Why, Connie? Pure blend of milky nougat nestled between a thin layer of chocolate. The, I mean, it's chocolate and nougat. I. I, I don't I, know how you could screw that up. Yeah, I'm not going to say it's not possible because that would jinx it. But exactly, she's not going to one now. But like, I feel like it would be hard to. Yeah, hard to. Look at that. It's so fluffy looking. And... Smells like that. Okay, turkey. I see you. Nope. You don't like it? Mm-mm. Oh, sweet. I mean... It has a weird taste to it. It's not bad. It's a little too milk tasting for mm -hmm. me. It's very milk tasting. But, um... I drink a lot of milk. I go through a lot of milk at my house. I don't. Okay, so, at my house is me, my dad, and my brother. So, three adults. I don't know how much milk like a normal household goes through, so like with three adults, I don't know if we should be going through four or five gallons of milk a week. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, sometimes it's only three, but yeah. But like, there'll be weeks literally where we'll go through like four gallons of milk, just pretty much just me and my dad drinking it. That's kind of insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we drink a lot of milk. I really. <laughs> These are <laughs> Darling Sadie. What the heck? Oh, a little packet thing. There are so many <laughs> names for this candy. Rock candy, Mavlana candy. Oh, As she throws it at me. <laughs> packaging, yes. I'm such a good big sister. Konya candy, cheese mmm, cheese candy. Oh ew. Oh. 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 It's made from oh bergamot oil. That's so, that is more of like a citrusy type flavor. Okay. It's because that's what makes Earl Grey tea taste the way it does. The okay. Which is. It and you said cheese, and I got worried. Yeah. While the texture bears a strong resemblance to an after dinner mint, I like that texture. <coughs> the flavor is something totally new. It's made from, so like I said, so um oh and I didn't even read that from there. I just happened to. It said, essential part of any Earl Grey tea blend. And okay, so it's supposed to have that sort of... I don't know why it said cheese. Because that freaked me that, the that, F out. That's making me real scared right now. But it's saying it's supposed to be like the essential part of um, Earl Grey tea. That's one of my favorite things. Um, fun fact about me, when I drink Earl Grey tea, I tend to put like almost a third a cup of lemon juice in my tea. She cray cray. 
Alright, so this is what they look like. Ooh, they smell like Earl Grey tea. I licked it. It counts. <laughs> oh yeah, there's um, it's the the mint texture that I like, and then I mean, not as good as my mint that I make, cause they're homemade. But... They're under the other boxes. Yeah. It's not bad. Mm. It's, I actually kind of like that. Yeah. I actually think I like this the best out of the whole box so far. <laughs> It's kind of spicy or weird, like smoky weird. stuff. Weird, so. yeah. Okay, so last but not least, little candies. So little toffee. So it says. Where is the okay, little candies? Okay, so again, bag. Do the little toffee thingies first. Yeah. So there's the blue four ones. different kinds. Do the blue ones. The blue ones. Soft candy with. What the frick does mastic mean? Mastic flavor. Tree sap. <laughs> yes! First, you know, Do I look like a woodchuck to you? <coughs> Don't <Yes>. answer that. <laughs> Yogurt candy called Iban. And um, mastic candy, which is tree sap. Well, then again, you're technically eating tree sap when you have maple. I don't really. You don't use you don't use maple. Like, yeah, I don't really. Uh, mm. That's really to, my favorite. It candy. has to be the real stuff. That's it what I'm saying. It can't be no fake Walmart brand bull crap. I don't ah, care. Ah, if look, it's... I censored myself. <laughs> look, I don't care if it's like it could be like the world's fanciest fake maple syrup. It's fake. It's not. Mm -hmm. No, we got. We got the real stuff from Toronto in a little, like, maple leaf-shaped jar mm -hmm. and gave it to Bill for Christmas. Actually, the, like, I, I just bought some because I make, I'm going to a Christmas party on Friday, and, um, and I, I needed the real stuff. But, like, most people, like, in, in the United States think of Vermont for when it comes to, like, maple products, but actually, New York State produces more maple syrup and more maple products than every other state combined. So, Yeah. New York State's where it's at for maple products. And apples. Apples, yes. There's a reason why we're the Empire State. Hells yeah, man. Apple cider. What, mm -hmm. what? Screw all you pumpkin spice people. It's apple cider season. Well, that's the thing, though. If they're all <coughs> obsessed with pumpkin spice, there's more apple cider for us. Okay, I, I, I take that back. Y'all can keep doing your pumpkin spice thing. Mm -hmm. Apple cider does not exist for you. No. Exactly. What apple cider? What apple cider? Exactly. Or apple find and shine. Or, um, hard cider? Yeah, that's true. Or hard cider with a shot of apple pie moonshine in it. Mm. Anyways, back to the whole <laughs> turkey thing where we're trying candies. I put them up here. The okay, ones. let's do the blue ones first. Oh, I hope these, these look like those mints that made you sad. Or are they that really that clear thing? Okay, there's no t smell. This is what they look like. Oh, this is the package. Yeah. And this is what they... Oh, oh, oh. Holy <laughs> crap, it's like licking a pine tree. It's there's a garbage can right there. Here, throw mine out too. No, no. <coughs> oh hi, turkey. <laughs> Boo boo, no. Boo -boo. Oh. Boo boo. I mean you do you, but no. I feel like I could have gotten the same thing with just walking outside and licking the sap off of a pine tree. <laughs> Boo boo, no. What is you doing? <coughs> Oh, honey child. Oh, boo boo, no, what is you doing? Honey child, no, sweetie. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. Alright, do you want the pink one or the. Let's yellow see, one? the pink one is yogurt candy. Oh, there's. there's oh, okay. One's um, strawberry, one's peach. Really? Because this one's banana. Oh, oh, one's here. Okay. I don't like banana. <laughs> Alright, so this is what they look like. She's got banana. Banana. These are another like toffee. Yogurt says root yogurt candy. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, I like that. It's seriously like biting into a peach. Mm -hmm. I feel like this would be better if it was a banana, but... I'm sorry, I took the good one. That's okay. I really don't like banana. It makes me sick. <laughs> I don't care for it either, but... Sometimes I like to try new banana flavored things to see if I still don't like banana candy. I still don't, but... Well. So. I, I've had most of this box with stuff that I actually genuinely like, so... She needs to eat something. She actually would genuinely like. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like that was good, especially considering I know what box is gonna go on my channel. Mm -hmm. Which one? <laughs> the Belgian. Belgian chocolate. <laughs> I I, I kind of peeked and. Well, plus Belgium usually implies chocolate. Huh? Belgium kind of implies chocolate. Yeah, if, it's, if you don't get chocolate in a Belgium yums box, like. Or I'd be looking at you sideways, Universal yums. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Anyways. Thank you for watching this video. Holy crap, it's 21 minutes long. Anyways. <laughs> Enjoy watching that and then editing that. I don't know how long it'll be after I edit it, but anyways. Yeah, anyways. Thank you for watching this turkey edition of us eating Universal Yums. Um, I love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.